if you're a PC gamer, you more than likely know what Steam is. And if you don't, it's essentially a giant platform where tons of different developers and indie developers put their games out for sale. So it's all in one place. It has a lot of functionality, has a lot of nice features. I think Steam is an awesome platform no matter how much I may disagree with some of what they say and their decisions. But this is one I actually disagree with. And I know a lot of people are like, I don't see any problem with that, but I, I kind of do. I kind of do because of how Steam works and how these games work and how early access works. But I can also see the flip side, but we'll get into that once we're done reading the article. I'll give you my actual thoughts on why I think this is a bad policy change. Steam just updated its refund policy, but everyone agrees it's a fair change, except for me, apparently. Valve just pushed out a new update to Steam's refund policy, changing what constitutes its playtime. Though gamers on PC aren't up in arms, with most even agreeing with the change makes sense. For years now, Steam users have enjoyed a commendable refund policy on Steam. Purchase any game and play for under two hours, you're entitled to a refund, the full price, so long as it's within two weeks. So yes, it was if you played for two hours or you refunded the game in two weeks and didn't go over the two hour time frame. So if you bought a game, you never played for two weeks and you're like, yeah, fuck it, I'll get rid of it. I want my money back, I'll buy something else. They did that. If you played for an hour and a half, up to two hours, they'd be like, okay, yeah, sure, give it back. Which I think generally that works. The style of game I like, which tends to be strategy games or more... Uh, grand strategy games the two hour thing is just just barely enough to get through the tutorial and not see actual gameplay which is why i got screwed on victoria 3 because that game was terrible but it took me about four hours to figure it out and steam was like nope that's a different topic but yeah for the most part i can agree the two hours is perfectly fine however part of the refund policy changed on april 23rd valve instituted a slight adjustment to adjustment some days words are hard to this rolling in order to account for the increasingly prevalent advanced access rollout. Games like the widely panned Suicide Squad, for instance, or more recent, the WWE 2025, offer up more costly deluxe editions. What? Okay, I don't care about that. In the past, Steam's two-hour playtime window didn't account for any game time accrued during this window. Moving forward, however, it will do just that. Today, we have updated a portion of our refund policy regarding pre-purchase titles. The April 24th announcements read, This change covers titles that are pre-purchased and offer advanced access. Playtime acquired during the advanced access period will now count towards the Steam refund period. Now, the rest of this, we don't need to go through. It's just people agreeing or disagreeing with it. I'm not going to read it because I'm going to give you my own take and I'm not going to be influenced by anybody else. I think this is actually a bad thing. And for a plethora of reasons, and some of them are brand new reasons that have come out in the last week. One, early access titles sometimes never come out of early access and development stops only a few months after early access release. So you could, in theory, get stuck with a developer who pitched an amazing game. You pre-purchased it, you got into the early beta testing, things barely worked, but it was enough to like, oh, I like how the direction of this game and then they take the money and run. In the meantime, you've played four, five, six hours of this, or maybe even two hours of this, and like, I need to wait till it's more. Well, you're out of luck. Now you're stuck with a game, the developers took the money and ran, you, you pay 20, 30, 50 dollars, in Suicide Squad's case, 70 dollars. Granted, they're still putting out content, but it's a terrible game. Now you're stuck with a game you're never gonna play, you're out 70 dollars. That's one of the reasons I disagree with this. The second part of this is it's starting to seem like the trend for developers is to give you what they promised. And then a week, a month down the road, they censor everything and take it all away. So now you're stuck with a game that you might have played for two hours and you're like, oh, I heard there's a new update. I'll wait for the new update. I'm having some issues, technical difficulties with the game. Wait and see what happens. Well, good luck. You bought a game based on something else, got so given something else in an update where they censored or took stuff out, and now you're stuck with the game. So I can see why people would agree with it, but I'm also looking at what is likely going to happen with a lot of games. It's just that you're screwed. 
Now, granted, the two-week window in there kind of stops some of that. I will give some people in the comments section, and they're going to say, yeah, but that could take longer than two weeks. Or it could be like Stellar Blade, where they started implementing censorship, what, 48 hours after? So, yes, me personally, I'm going to disagree with this. I'm going to say there's a little, it brings up a lot of issues that could potentially happen that are starting to happen, as well as some old stuff. But again, it's two hours. Most people are going to put more time into a game than that when they start playing it. I don't know. I can go back and forth, but I do see issues. But guys, I want to hear your thoughts on this one in the comments section. Am I overblowing this? Do you think that the two hours, no matter, as long as the game is, air quotes, playable, counts towards your uh, your playtime for a refund? Let, let me know in the comments section. But while you're there, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this one out. And until the next one, guys, be easy like Sleazy.